Welcome back. Uh, this is uh, video three um, of the Arnold uh, Maya displacement. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and fine tune this now. So uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and and lower this down even more to something like 0 0.025 um, and see if that gets us what we want. And again, let's go ahead and there we go. That looks really good. So we don't want it overwhelming, but we also want it to be much better than a what a normal map could do for us. So this is what we got. Um, so now we need to add all the textures. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy right here. Uh, I think we fine tuned and tweaked out the normal map, so we're good th with that. So I'm going to. Uh, stop this and close it and now we're just going to refine what we have so far so the rock texture um, we need to go in and um, add the rest so in the color we're going to actually add the color but before we do that I'm going to add the um, uh, the normal map to this so under bump mapping go ahead and click on the option box for that. Enter 2D textures and file. Uh, we need to turn on object space normals and we need to go into Arnold to make sure these two are turned off and um, then we need to go into the bump value and turn that off and make sure that we have uh, the color balance set to uh, alpha is luminance and that we need to make sure this is a raw uh, file so click on raw alright so filter type off raw, raw file color space and then alpha is luminance and let's go ahead and add the map so here we go there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go back into Arnold and do a render view of this. Okay, that looks good. Um, what we're seeing here is a, a specular highlight. They call it uh, they call it fireflies. That has a lot to do with the fact that the specularity just can't handle the amount of light and it is just uh, very glossy. So there's a couple things we could do. If we didn't have a uh, roughness map um, to put on, then or a metallic map, uh, those two together will really help with that. But if you don't have those, there's an easy way to change that. So um, what we're going to do is to go in here, um, shut that down, and go back into our rock texture and kind of scroll up and you can see that our specular weight is incredibly high so we're going to take that down to something around 1 or 1 1.5 and notice that we have an uh, index of refraction that's super high that's more like for glass so now we have something that's kind of equal all the way down around 100 and so you'll see that if we go back in here and do a quick render you'll see a huge difference in the way it looks now it looks more like uh, flat clay or ground or or some kind of dirt so that's what we're looking for um, so as far as the normal detail goes uh, it looks pretty good I mean you're not going to see a huge amount of detail in there um, so uh, what we can do is if you want to see how it really looks let's uh, go ahead and stop that and we could easily go back into our uh, setup and we could turn the scale down to zero um, in here and we don't have to disconnect anything but let's turn it down to zero and let's see what the map looks like just uh, by itself um, as a render okay and there we go and you can see that we can see the texture on here 
Uh, it's kind of hard to see, and this is what a normal map would actually look like. Let me go ahead and um, I did a, uh, a full render by mistake, but you can see all that detail in there. So it is in there. It, the detail is in there in the uh, normal map. So that does add on top of the, the displacement map, it does add a lot of really cool detail. So I'm um, going to go ahead and pop that in there. And uh, let's go into uh, getting that displacement back where it was. Uh, so uh, point zero uh, two five. Maybe that was too much. I don't remember. Um, let's go in here and um, render that real quick. There we go. You can still see all the details in there. All right. Uh, great. Now all we need is the actual rock texture. So um, we'll put that in there. And we'll add the other maps. And so the next maps would be the color. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to do um, sRGB. And I uh, don't think we need alpha lu is luminance on. And we're going to go in here. And we are going to do the base color. Okay. This will take a while to get uh, put on, placed on it. So um, click on the 6 key. And um, so. Um, you can kind of mess around and see. I, I don't. I think sRGB is what we need. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work. So go back. All right, so we're good with that. And it does look a little bit weird. So let's take a look at the render and see how that looks. Wow, that looks great. So now you can really see that detail in the rock itself. Alright, so that looks pretty good. The render time isn't too bad either. 13 seconds, so I think the next thing we're going to do is we will probably look at the diffuse uh, roughness um, that uh, it came with and a metalness uh, metalness is just black I don't even it's at zero so it's the same as same as black so uh, I'm you know since I already know the metalness is zero um, I will put I will place the um, uh, the roughness in uh, for fun, so let's get this set up. And this needs to be raw. And we need to go in here and set up the uh, roughness. And you can, as you can see, it looks like that. So there we go. So now we're gonna get uh, see what that looks like. And again, if you don't like it, it's it's e super easy to change. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and render that. All right. Okay, so not much has changed, um, but um, it, it, there are going to be some shiny areas. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. Okay, that's it for this video, and then the next video we'll go, go ahead and show you how to get all this put on a uh, mesh. Um, and look at the different possibilities for using it.